okay in the last lecture we saw the intensity distribution due to fraunhofer diffraction due to double slit we saw that we can easily derive that relation from the fraunhofer diffraction due to n slits by taking the special case n is equal to 2 and again we saw that in double slit it is a combination of interference and diffraction then we calculated the intensity distribution due to double slit which looks like like this i is equal to 4a square sin square alpha by alpha square cos square beta where this term shows the diffraction due to single slit and the second term signifies the interference due to two slits then we got the conditions for maxima and minima and then we saw that minima we can have when both with either of the terms is zero but for the maxima we need to do an approximation and we need to consider narrow slit so that we neglect the effect of slit width and we get maxima only due to cos square beta and alpha and beta are given by these relations pi by alpha e sin theta and beta is equal to pi by lambda d sin theta this d is same as what the distance between two slits which we have taken in young's double slit experiment and from these two relations we saw that there is a relation between alpha beta e and d so e and d are not independent this is very important point to note e and d are not independent so let us take a special case of e and d and try to see what would be the intensity distribution how will we can represent it graphically so i have taken a special case of d is equal to 3e so my distance between two slits is three times the slit width then what would my pattern look like so let us first draw only cos square beta this is nothing else but like interference due to double slit so i will get all the maximas of equal height and this cos square beta will be will have minima for pi by 2 cos 90 0 3 pi by 2 and so on and maxima for 0 pi 2 pi so i have drawn these points for you 0 pi 2 pi i will get maxima so pi i will get maxima 0 i will get maxima 2 pi and 3 pi so all the maximas are of equal height so how i can draw the center points would be minima so i'm using few colors so that it is easily visible to you all so my intensity pattern will look like this on left hand side also similarly at pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and 5 pi by 2 i will get minima and again these are also pi 2 pi and 3 pi i will get sorry so this pattern is exactly look like young double slit experiment because again we are taking cos square beta this is the term which we get in interference due to young double slit now we take another term we draw separately sin square alpha by alpha square this is diffraction due to single slit and here we can see we will get maxima at 0 and then and so on at so at alpha is equal to 0 we get the primary maxima and at alpha is equal to pi 2 pi and so on we will get minima because my numerator will vanish and denominator will not we have seen we have studied in detail in diffraction due to single slit and rest we can find other maximas secondary maximas but i am not here interested in that so at alpha 0 is equal to i will get maxima at but this point will be my pi why because i have taken d is equal to 3e similarly when d is equal to 3e 
So from here we can see that alpha upon beta this is equal to e upon 3e. So from this I can get that beta is equal to 3 alpha or alpha is equal to beta by 3. So whenever beta is 3 pi my alpha will be pi from this relation because I have chosen such like this. So now my pi will be here and alpha at pi I will get minima. So this is also pi. I will get the pattern like this. Like this. So these two patterns are separately due to interference and Okay, now let us take both these patterns together, combination of this. We have seen in the last lecture that either of these minima, we will get minima in the combination because this is a product. So if either of the term is 0, I will get minimum intensity. So at 0, I will get maxima. But now here at pi by 2, first of all, we will get This is just the diffusion due to single slit. But we will see the actual pattern that what will happen at 3 pi. At pi it is minima. So I will get a minima. Now here in both these terms at here. Here pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2. What will I get? Minima. Here minima, here minima, here minima. So I will have minimas whenever either of the terms goes to 0. So my pattern will be like this. So minimas I am sure and this my maxima height will be determined by the envelope of diffraction due to single slit. So minimas I know because this term is minima, here minima, here minima. So I will get all these minimas. So what do we see here that we get all these minimas when either of the term is minima and another important thing to note down is here that here the intensity of all the other maximas is not same everywhere. It is decided by the envelope of diffraction due to single slit. So here the maximas intensity it decreases and we get the pattern like this. The position of maxima can be obtained by doing by neglecting the effect of the slit width but graphically we can see here clearly that how the pattern of front of a diffraction due to double slit look like this is for the case d is equal to 3e by 3e or beta is equal to 3 alpha so different combinations you can take and you can try to draw the pattern thank you